Oh yeah! Hey, what's up, you guys? This is DVD Hell's Rogue, and this is part second episode of the Objective series. And for this episode, I got Headquarters Pro. So, in Headquarters, uh, pretty much you gotta capture, you know, the headquarter and keep it for as long as you can, or at least as long as you can, which the point value is 65. That's as long as you can hold it until your teammates come back and the headquarters disappear. So for me, when I play headquarters, I'm the guy that captures it and tries to hold it the longest. I'm not really trying to get a lot of kills. I'm not trying to get, you know, a lot of kill streaks. I just um, am in the base capturing. And the setup I use for this um, is UMP with FMJ, you can use any submachine gun um, with FMJ just so you can shoot through walls, shoot, you know, shoot people faster. And so, and also I got Cold Blooded Pro, and I'll explain that in a bit, and Ninja Pro. And my secondary, you can use any launcher, any launcher, you know, that, that can kill people and not like a stinger. And uh, for equipment, I use Blast Shield because there will be a lot of noob tubers and a lot of grenades being launched at you. And for uh, grenades, I would use smoke grenade, but in this first clip I show, I have uh, stun grenades. And so, you guys are probably wondering, what the heck is he doing? Uh, his weapon just keeps going up and down, up and down, what the heck. And this is a trick I use for headquarters. Uh, if you press YY repeatedly, um, it'll look like you're dead. That's why you need Cold Blood Pro, because people won't be able, people will look at you and they'll be like, okay, it's a dead body because the name doesn't show up. And you will see right here in the kill cam once they kill me that I pretty much look dead. So see right here, they can't capture it and look, see, I look like I'm dead. Because when you press YY, you're you're pulling out your second your, your secondary weapon, but since you keep uh, doing it repeatedly, it just stays in that position. And so in headquarters, uh, a quote that I have from Chaos Viper is, you really shouldn't care about your kill to death ratio. Because if you're trying to capture it and there are new tubes everywhere, your kill death ratio is going to be awful. But in headquarters, you know, you get the most points by capturing and staying alive the longest. And so, in, this, in these games that I show, I'm doing that trick the whole time because it's just a great trick for to have one person do it and your teammates have be around, you know, just killing off. Uh, it's a great way. It's a great way to help your uh, friend get a nuke. It's a great way to help your, your friend get all the kill streaks. You know stuff like that and so in headquarters I really suggest that one person on the team does this you know because then uh, if someone is in it they won't be able to capture it unless until they find the person and so that way if they do kill them your partners can just come and throw a couple grenades and it's gone um, when I play with my team the uh, Kenwood High School team um, once we get, you know, around 150 or so, uh, we usually just kill out. And what that means is, you know, we don't capture, we don't let them capture either. And we can just, you know, kill, get kill streaks, you know, even out our kill death ratios. And yeah, that's what we do with my team. And so in headquarters pretty much you know I just I just got these clips of showing you how effective this thing is and how uh, it can save you I mean if you're you know 190 and your the other team's got 195 um, and you capture it but you're, all your teammates are dead and you're the only one left oh what do you do hide in there just press YY they won't even notice and that's one reason why I hold a launcher. A launcher is very effective in headquarters because 
if you wanna um, kill all the people in there, you know, just throw one RPG, throw one thumper, and you know, you clear it out, and then you just step in there, and wow, that guy's retarded. See, see how effective this is? Cold Blooded Pro is very effective, cause that guy didn't see me at all, but I saw him. And I will show you right here that my body looks no different than that body in front of me. Watch. Soon I will get killed. Yes, right there. Now watch. To the left is a dead body. To the right is me. There was not much difference at all. And um, uh, if this clip looks a little bit different, looks stretched out, it's because it's, um, it's a previous recording. I've changed my settings. Uh, I'm now using the actual Pinnacle Studio 12 program. I've made it so it doesn't lag up every single thing I record. And so thank you YouTube for that because all I did was just look up how to fix it on YouTube. So <laughs> I guess YouTube is a great resource. And in this clip, in these two next clips, I'll show you that my teammates all die and I'm the only one left and they're trying to capture it they're trying to you know destroy it but guess what they don't see me that guy right there in front of me he's just walking around and then he dies by my team and right here I am the last one alive nope now I am the last one alive and they're in there trying to capture it and they're like what the heck and nothing's happening because they don't see me Look at them. And they get so bored, they start killing themselves. Yup, there they go. And so, in headquarters, you know, capture them headquarters, keep them as long as you can. Once you get enough points, or once you're enough ahead of the other team, you know, kill out, have some fun. Uh, noob tube a little, you know, piss the other team off. And um, be prepared to get noob tube back, that's for sure. Because uh, so once you start, you start a chain reaction and right here again I'm the last one standing and they can't find me until they find me and that guy's like what the heck why can't I capture and I'm right there this is DVD Hell's Rogue hope you enjoyed this obje objective series peace out